What's going on adventurers? Today we are in a town called Tarpon Springs and this is called Anclote Cemetery. Now we have heard from several sources that this is a very haunted cemetery. Matter of fact, we were just talking to Patty today and she highly recommended that we come here. We told her we were gonna be in the area and she's like, oh, you gotta go to that cemetery. So that's what we did. And you wanna know something really crazy? The first headstone that we saw when we pulled up happens to be related to Lisa. We had no idea. So if you guys don't know, Lisa's family is actually related to the German poet Goethe. So, um, it's pretty crazy. She was actually, we were, as we were pulling up, she was telling me that one day she wants to visit the family cemetery and she said it's actually in South Carolina. So I said, maybe one day when we get to South Carolina, we will do that. And then as we pull up, it's the first thing I noticed, of course, was that there was a woodsman of the world headstone. I was like, oh, that's so cool. Look at the logs on there and everything. And I was like, wait, what? They're totally related to you. So, wow mind blown guys so I, I we've literally been here for five minutes and already i'm just like what <laughs> so i think this is gonna be a good one guys the wind um there was none when we pulled up there was no wind completely still and a lot of times that is a big indication that you're gonna have some activity so first i'm just gonna walk around show you guys around you know the usual and then we're gonna bust out the necrophonic and maybe drive through the cemetery like we did before so let's go without any further delay we're gonna get right into it let's go guys check it out guys like a sitting tree you can literally sit on the branch it's so low that's pretty cool Isn't that cool? Awesome. did you happen to notice this over here there is a very large oh. monument What's that? and it looks like it belonged to a Freemason but it looks like he might have also been a captain or something. Yeah, there's an anchor. There's an anchor as well. So that's pretty cool. And that makes a lot of sense because I believe captains were paid pretty well back in the day. Yeah. Um, you know, they were, they had status. And also that makes sense because I'm pretty sure the Freemasons had money and stuff like that too. So I don't know a whole lot about the Freemasons. I'm going to yeah. have to research that. Yeah. Well, check this area out, guys. This is really interesting. It's kind of like separate from the rest. Looks like there's a couple back there, but this big one caught our eye. Oh, I just got like dizzy. Sit down. Maybe there's spirits here. I'm serious about knocking me over. Are you right? Yeah, it was like my head, and then I got like pushed or something. Like I got dizzy, and then it was like somebody pushed me. Really? Like it felt like somebody touched you? Yeah, well, it felt like all of a sudden my head got dizzy, and then there was something that kept pushing me. Oh. It was like I knew I was dizzy, like I was going to fall over. That's weird. It was sudden? Yeah. I was fine. I was walking and then all of a sudden... Maybe it's this area. Maybe we should get away from this I area. I feel it. It's like making me dizzy. I kind of feel something too. It's making me really dizzy. All right. Let's get you back to the car. No. It's... Get the heck? That's scary. There's nothing in there. Is there like a house there? No. Anyway, guys, I was just looking at this, and then all of a sudden, Lisa almost fell. Um, she said she started feeling dizzy. And for those of you that don't know, spiritual activity can do that. Um, they drain you sometimes. They drain your energy. Sometimes they actually can make you feel what they felt. It's possible that, because it happened when we walked over to this particular grave. I don't know what happened to her. I don't know what happened to her. I don't know how she passed. But it's quite possible that she may have had a dizzy spell and fell. I don't know, because I'm kind of feeling funny, too. Yeah, it feels weird. I, I want to be able to make it back to the car. Okay. It makes me nervous. I felt like it was weird. It was almost like I got dizzy, and then something took advantage of that and threw me off out. Yeah, that happens. Like, they knew. That does happen. I've heard a lot of people say that. I, I know that's happened to Patty. Really? Yeah. And it hasn't really happened to me as far as the dizziness before. Um, I mean, it was almost just like, it wasn't extreme. It was like it, it, it threw my head enough that I was going off balance really quick. It's weird. All right, so currently, um, like we were just telling you guys, Lisa felt like that there was a spirit taking advantage of her draining her energy. So right now I'm just gonna say to any spirits here right now, do not 
affect Lisa like that. I would appreciate it if you would respect her and we will continue to stay with you as long as you do not drain our energy or make us feel what you felt. You can talk to us through the spirit box. We are gonna turn that on shortly, but do not drain our energy or we will have to leave. And we don't wanna do that. We wanna be able to stay here and talk with you and hear your story. So we're gonna to continue to walk around and please just respect our space and we'll talk to you shortly. Yeah, I'm kind of feeling like my muscles are shaky. Isn't that weird? Yeah. I need to do this and get out of here. Huh. Yeah. Uh-uh. Where? Inside of that, under that cross. Oh. Oh, yeah, I do see it. They probably left it there for him. Yeah. Wow, look at this one. This is wild. Look at this wooden cross. Oh, wow. That's just... I can honestly say I've never seen that before. Is there a grave here? Yeah, this is a grave. I find it interesting, though, that they would have put a bench in. It's not you know complete anymore but they only had oh it's just a, a wooden cross yeah, very I, I just find it weird that they would put a bench in and just put a wooden cross there like there's no yeah. not even like a flat plate or anything like that it's weird there's your spinner over there <sighs> Ooh, I, feel it in I do too I'm feeling, it in here. I'm feeling drained already I'm feeling drained guys this is cool they got a nice American flag here Look at these, these piles of sticks over here. That's unbelievable. And it's weird because it looks empty over there. I know, it's really wild. It's really wild. It's very sparse, like everything is very spread out here, which is pretty interesting. We were at another cemetery not too long ago and it had the same thing going on. It's kind of interesting. And you know what I find really interesting? That the American flag on the left is moving and not the one on the right at all. Ooh. How about that? You're right. What was that noise? The flag, maybe? No. Here, guys, I'm going to zoom in so you can see what I'm talking about. There are two American flags here. One is moving like crazy, and the other one on the right side is not moving at all. What up with that? Okay, guys, so this is where everything kind of happened. We both started feeling very drained. Lisa started feeling dizzy which has never happened to either one of us before. No. I felt drained before. I, I feel Good. drained very, very frequently after being in a cemetery. Sorry. And that does happen to us a lot. But as far as the dizziness, that's never happened before. So we're going to go ahead and turn on the necrophonic and we're going to see what the spirits have to say to us. Hello, who's here with us? We're here, to, we're here to talk to you, but you're not allowed to attach yourself to us or make us dizzy or weak. Okay, it said turd. I knew you. How do you know us? I know I heard sent. Who sent us for you? Can you tell us your name? Please tell us the name of the person who made Lisa dizzy. Are there just a lot of you here? And it's being, it's like overwhelming for us. I'm hearing a lot of names come through. How many of you are here?
Can you give us a number, please? What would you like to say to us? Okay, it seriously said Patty Adams. I heard that. That was crazy. I heard that. Yes, Patty was here. Patty was the one that told us about this, but yes, they said we were sent here. Yeah, Patty told us to come here. You're right. Okay, that's crazy. And she has a relative here. <gasps> what? I am fri I'm freaking out right now. Really? And I have a relative. Um, Patty. Wow. Okay, and you, yeah, that's weird that you both have relatives here. And you didn't even know it. No. Uh, I'm just tripping out a little bit right now, guys. This is crazy. I, I, I hadn't even put that together. That, you know, it said we were sent here. And, yeah, it just hit me that we were. Can you show yourself to us? I'd appreciate it if you'd walk right in front of the camera for me. Patty. Hey, who's this? Film. Do you, do you know why we're filming? Holy crap. Y'all hear those dogs howling? Sounds like the hounds of hell Sounds or something. Like the blood hounds. <laughs> do you know why we're filming you? <laughs> Yes. It's an asshole. Why y'all be so, saying asshole all the time? Uh, do you think it's funny? I got news for you. Spirits can be assholes too. <laughs> Why is it so fun? Were there Native Americans here? Again, can you tell us how many spirits are here with us, please? Thank you for backing off. I feel much better. 
I'm still, yeah. I'm still feeling a little bit. Why are you oh. making me dizzy? I've just turned on the K2 meter. If you want to come and touch the meter to let us know that you're here, that would be amazing. Just grab it. Just like this. Just grab it. Just like this. <laughs> Probably because I touched it. Yeah. Definite? Are you definitely going to touch it? All right, I, I know you guys like to take your time, so right now I'm going to just focus on... We're going to just uh, keep an eye on Lisa over here and talk to Lisa. Mm -hmm. Do, is there anything you want to ask them? Um, are any of my relatives here? Gertis. One. What's your name? They said Lisa. What, you, what was their name? Um, what was it over there? Fred, um, took a look. I think one was Annie. There's actually three. There's weirdness. Uh, this is crazy. Were you from South Carolina? <laughs> we see. We see you have the Woodsman uh, Memorial. I'm hearing angels singing. How many angels are here with us? Ten. Ten. Angels, are you protecting us? That's definitely angels. I just wanted to say hi to any of my relatives. It's really awesome we found your uh, cemetery. I didn't realize you were in Florida. That's like, wow. Amazing. It really is amazing. It's pretty cool. Not too far. <laughs> I just saw something moving back there in the woods. You did? Spirit. He said spirit. I'm not even lying. He said spirit on the box. Box. What did he say? Spirit's here? Yeah, back up and then pull up under there a little bit. That's where I saw him. What? Oh, there's a car. It's like closer. It's like closer. Over here? Mm-hmm. Round up in there. There's a little area here. There is a headstone back there. I think. Something back there. Guys, this is where we found my family name. Uh, I think there's actually three of them here. What's his name? Edward? Uh, and then, oh, son of. It's a yeah, son. It said it, son. It did say Ed, Ed earlier. It did when we asked its name. I can't his see name. his name right now. It is Edward. <laughs> and I can't read the other uh, one. William. William. And yeah, William no, Edward. Franklin. Franklin. Franklin, are you here with us? Yes. 
Franklin, are you here? That one says Edward. I know he said Ed earlier. So cool. Ed. It does say Edward. The son of Ed. It says Edward. Edward. Yeah. Maybe pull up and go up there. Mark. I don't know. Just pull up over in the, under the street here. So they can get past you. Spirits. I heard spirits again. There's some right here. Oh, oh! Look, we're getting some action on the K two meter. K two meter is lighting up, guys. Can you can you touch it again for us and light it all the way up to red, please? I'm I'm specifically interested in Franklin coming through and touching it for us to let us know that he's here with us today. Franklin, can you light up this, the K2 meter for us, please? Edward. I this is Edward. Edward's, it's a son of Edward. Wow. It's, his name is Franklin Marion. Which is weird, because your mother's name is Marion. It's spelled differently, though, like the county. But she's a different family. Oh, that's true. What? That's crazy. Franklin, are you with us? Lisa. I think they drew us. I think they drew us here. picking up. The wind is picking up. Ed. Ed. Keep saying Ed. Raptor. What? What you know about raptors? You like Duncan? <laughs> What you know about raptors? You like coffee? <laughs> Cheers. My head's finally clearing up. It was bad back there. I know. That whole, even in the car, I was feeling it. Okay. Well, thank you so much for backing off. I think they were so wound up, excited. I mean, I think they just came out. They us. knew we were coming. Oh my gosh. It just like almost knocked me on the ground. Patty. Fires. That was the like last name. Do you want Patty to come back here? Sure. Is it danger? Is this a dangerous place at night? I heard right before you asked that. I heard it say exit. Oh, really? Time to go. Do you want us to leave? It's time to go. If you want us to leave, if you want us to leave, please go ahead and light up the K2 meter for us. It said light up. <laughs> Use your energy for the meter. Use your energy and do what you did to Lisa, except for do it on the meter. You can do it. I've seen you light it up a couple of times. I want you to go ahead and grab that meter until it lights all the way up to the last light. Please. Why do we hear kids? I did too. I just heard why, why am I hearing a kid in here? That is really creepy. God. What? 
All right, I just heard Marco. Are you playing Marco Polo with us? Yes. Yes. Polo. I just heard something that was like a branch crack. Polo. I guess they don't want to play anymore. We're on two. Oh. Susie. That's what my uh, brother used to call me when I was little. He said, the spirit said Susie. Nobody knows that. My, bro my brother used to call me that when I was little. That's cool. Who said Susie? Spirits know a lot about us, don't you? It's lighting up. It's lighting oh, up. Just lit up. Of course, you. it was. It's still lighting up. Who <laughs> said Susie? Light up the meter again. Meter. It said meter. It, lit, it did. It lit up to that fourth light. Lighting it up. All right, go ahead. We're we're ready now. We won't miss it this time. Hi, Lay. She said Lay. Oh, Lay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Broke. Oh. Can you light up the can you light up the meter for us? I know you just did that. We can do it. Not hard. Now the wind died down. Sure did. I hear cardinals too right in front of us. Hear them? Yep. I think the energy shifted. Did the, did the energy shift? Well, here, who, are you speaking? Are you speaking through the cardinal? There, Mike. So I guess they're not going to light up the meter all the way from today. And you know what? They do sometimes. They don't always do it. They did it when you had the camera turned away from it. They're being sneaky. <laughs> Y'all sneaky spirits. It's sneaking in here. Are you sneaky? If you like coffee, light up the meter. <laughs> They're, I mean, they are very talkative today, which yeah, is good. Yeah, they're uh, articulate. All right, guys, so if, if there's nothing else that you want to say to us, I'm going to go ahead and turn off the necrophonic. I'll give you another minute. Is there anything else that you'd like to say? I'm serious. Everything shifted. The cardinals started singing and the wind stopped. Yeah, and absolutely. And the sun came out brighter, brighter. And we both felt better. Yeah. They said Elisa. <laughs> Well, there's a like a bulldozer there. It's probably distracting to clearing some land. All right, let me go ahead. All right, guys. So we had a pretty amazing paranormal investigation slash adventure today. I'm so glad that you could join us. The only thing that we had happen that was negative today was that you know when we first got here and got out of the car, both of us were feeling our energy being drained. Lisa to the point where she got dizzy. And I mean, she like you almost took a tumble. Yeah, I was off. Basically, it was almost like this energy pushed me off balance. It wasn't really a touch, but it was just my whole body just went off balance. That's crazy. And then I had a weird. It was like a dizzy spell, but not a normal dizzy. It was like if somebody just. I mean, but you've never had dizzy no. spells, so that's really unusual for you. But I understand, like. I've never had a dizzy spell in a cemetery, but sometimes I'll kind of get like a weird wave going through my head, if that makes any sense. Just kind of like throws you off for a second. 
Is that what you're? Is yeah, that what it you was felt? like that. Yeah, I, I have had that before. Never to the point where I felt like I had to leave, and we really didn't feel like we had to leave. But I wanted to get back in the car just so that if we needed to, we could. So um, I think that worked out really well. I think this was a cool way to do the investigation, and y'all gotta love this shot right here. This is a pretty awesome <laughs> shot. All right, guys. So we hope you had as much fun as we did today, and we'll see you on our next Raptor, Raptor adventure. adventure.